This is lesson 10.4, Inscribed Angles. Your objectives are to find the measures of inscribed angles and find measures of angles of inscribed polygons. An inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle right there. And the measure of the intercepted arc is twice that of the measure of the inscribed angle. So the inscribed angle is equal to half of the measure of the intercepted arc. The arc is double the inscribed angle, or the angle is half of the arc. Find each measure. The measure of arc AB. That's the intercepted arc that this inscribed angle opens up to. The inscribed angle is half of the arc, so the arc is double the angle. That will be 88 degrees. The measure of angle X, that's an inscribed angle. That's half of the measure of the intercepted arc. Half of 90 is 45 degrees. For the measure of arc JK, that's the one over here. i got to think about it first. The measure of arc KL over here, that's a semicircle, so that's 180 degrees. The measure of arc JL, that's the intercepted arc for the inscribed angle, which is double 26, or 52 degrees. And all the way around the circle is 360. So 180 plus 52 plus what gives you 360? So just subtract. from 360, and you get 128. Watch for those extra steps there. Sometimes you got to take it a step farther using previous rules. Semicircles are 180, all the way around the circle is 360. But of course, the inscribed angle is half of the intercepted arc. The measure of angle Q. That's an inscribed angle, which is half of the measure of arc PM. Well, the whole way around the circle is 360. 118 and 113, and the measure of arc PM makes 360. So 360 minus 113 and minus 118 gives you 129. And that's the measure of the intercepted arc. Half of that is the inscribed angle, which is 64.5 degrees. So again, 360 degrees around the circle, and the inscribed angle is half of the intercepted arc. Find each measure. Another rule is that when you have two inscribed angles that open up to the same arc, then they're congruent. So angle Z and angle Y both open up to arc WX. So those two angle measures are congruent. I can find X and then use x to find the measure of angle y for question 6. Set up the equation since these two angle measures are congruent. 3x minus 23 is equal to 2x plus 2. When you subtract 2x from both sides, 
you get that. And when you add 23 to both sides, x is 25. If x is 25, 3 times 25 minus 23 is 52 degrees for angle Z. 2 times 25 plus 2 is 52 degrees for angle Y. So the measure of angle Y is 52 degrees. That's question 6. For question 5, the measure of angle W, angle W opens up to arc ZY. Angle X also opens up to arc ZY, which means that angle W and angle X are congruent. So they're both 22 degrees. Another way around that is that angle X is half of arc ZY. That makes ZY 44 degrees, which means angle W is half of that because it's inscribed, and half of 44 is still 22 degrees. Inscribed angles that open up to the same arc are congruent. On this one, for the measure of angle A, angle A intercepts arc DC, and angle B also intercepts arc DC, which means that those two angles are congruent. So 4x minus 7 equals 2x plus 11. Solve for x, subtract 2x from both sides, add 7 to both sides, and divide both sides by 2. x is 9. If x is 9, the measure of angle A is 4 times 9 minus 7. That's 36 minus 7, or 29 degrees. So the measure of angle A is 29 degrees. For the measure of angle D, the measure of angle D, that opens up to arc AB, and 5y minus 14 here for angle C also opens up to arc AD. So those two angles are congruent. 3y plus 8 is the measure of angle D, 5y minus 14 is the measure of angle C, so we'll make those equal each other. Solve for y, subtract 3y, add 14, and divide by 2. y is 11. And the measure of angle D is 3y plus 8, and y is 11. 3 times 11 is 33, plus 8 is 41. So the measure of angle D is 41 degrees. Inscribed angles that intercept the same arc are congruent. For 11 and 12, we have a quadrilateral inscribed inside a circle. And we have a rule that says when this happens, opposite angles are supplementary. So I know that angle E and angle G are supplementary because they're opposites. So they add up to 180. 11x plus 8 plus 8x plus 1 is 180. That gives you 19x plus 9 is 180. Subtract 9. 19x is 171. And divide both sides by 19. 
x is 9. If x is 9, the measure of angle G is 8 times 9 plus 1. That's 72 plus 1, or 73 degrees. Opposite angles in an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary. For angle H, angle H and angle F are opposite angles. They're also supplementary. So, 6y minus 4 plus 5y minus 3 equals 180. That's 11y minus 7 equals 180. Add 7. 11y is 187. Divide by 11. Y is 17. If Y is 17, the measure of angle H is 6y minus 4, which is 6 times 17 minus 4, which is 98 degrees. Opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are supplementary, so add them up to equal 180, solve and substitute.